and welcome to the Family Fudge. If you're new here, I'm Jennifer, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my fall home decor tour for 2019. Now, this is a video I was hoping to share with you earlier in the month, but with Hurricane Dorian, our kitchen remodel, and then our trip to Utah, it had to be pushed back. Now, when it comes to decor, I usually like to put my fall decorations out at the beginning of September and have them out the entire month. Then, come October, October 1st, I put out my Halloween decorations and I keep them out until the day after Halloween. Now, to be honest, I don't always decorate for Thanksgiving because in the last couple of years, we've been traveling during Thanksgiving time. Now, when it comes to Christmas, I like to put out the decorations the day after Thanksgiving and I'll usually keep them out until the day after New Year's. So instead of just showing you the fall decor, I thought it'd be really interesting to show you what my everyday decor looks like. And then I can share with you how I change up just a few things so that my fall decor can go along with what I already have. Okay guys, so the first area I'm gonna be sharing with you is the entryway. That includes the front door and this little niche area. Now, normally I would start my tour outside at the front door, but as you guys know, we just moved to Florida and there's something really terrifying going on outside. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video and I'll show you exactly why I'm not putting any decorations outside. So here's what it looks like every day. Let me show you how I decorate it for fall. So in place of the green wreath, I went ahead and added this one. I found this at Walmart this year and I just love this wreath. It has this really cute little fox on there and it's just really pretty with the colors and the pine cones. Over in this corner, I added the Hello Fall sign. I found this at Hobby Lobby. And this one is actually really cool because it's double-sided. So you can just flip it around and you have a Halloween decoration as well. Now down on the floor level, I've kept it pretty simple. Of course, we still have our shoe basket because we need that. But then on either corner, I've added just a small potted plant. I found these at Walmart this year and I just love the pot that they come in. It says happy fall on the outside and I love the bright yellow color. Now for the doormat, I actually doubled it up here. On the bottom I have a larger buffalo check, that one is from Amazon. And on top I have this Hello Pumpkin doormat that is from Target. And then over in the niche area, I went ahead and added a wreath directly on top of the artwork that was already there. This just has a little command hook so I can easily remove it. It's not gonna damage the art underneath. And then I did go ahead and keep my little key basket here because I'd like to use that obviously. And then over here on this corner, I've added several different pumpkins. This little guy I got at Hobby Lobby last year and I just like to have something with light over here because it can, it can tend to get a little bit dark in this little niche. So this is perfect over here. And then I've grouped this with several different faux pumpkins. We have a fabric one, a little foam one, and a glass one from the Dollar Tree. So the next area we're coming to is a little entryway. This is pretty much how it looks every day. And here's how it looks now. So just like in the niche area, I went ahead and added a wreath directly on top of the artwork that was already there. It just fits perfectly in this little medallion center area. And this does have a command hook so I can easily remove it and it's not gonna mess up what's underneath. This wreath is actually from Big Lots and so is the matching garland and these little arrangements right here. Down over here, I replace the greenery with the same matching arrangement. And usually when I'm doing something like this, I like to have it as symmetrical as I can, although I do only have one owl. On this side, I have a little arrangement and two little dollar store pumpkins. And then right in the center here, I have a Ray Dunn pumpkin that just says family on it. So pretty simple. There's still space for us to put things down on top. I know my family gets pretty annoyed with me when I put so many decorations that they can't actually use the piece of furniture. Yep, it's sort of on the simple side. And then over here, I also added this coordinating piece. I got this at Big Lots as well. It's just this little picture frame piece and it says grateful on the front. 
So then down this hallway, we have the laundry room. I'm not putting any decorations in there, but then over here we have the guest bathroom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change out this wreath. I just have command hooks everywhere so I can easily change things out. And as I'm removing all of the greenery, I like to keep it in a bin together so I can easily find it and put it back out when it's time. So here's the fall wreath in its place. I actually found this one at Walmart a few years ago, I believe. And I think this one is really interesting because it has these leaves that look like feathers, but they're not actually feathers at all. Then as far as the bathroom goes, I don't do a lot of decorating here, but what I do like to add is some seasonal soap from Bath and Body Works. This one is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and I just have it in this really cute decorative soap holder, perfect for fall. Over here, I just have this really cute hand towel. It has a little blue truck with the dog, and it says pumpkin picking on there, so cute. And then I also have a wallflower from Bath and Body Works, and this is in the pumpkin pecan waffle scent, because that's definitely my favorite fall scent. Now that brings us to the family room. Now you can kind of tell I went for a coastal vibe in here, so I have a lot of light grays, a lot of light blue colors, a lot of natural materials. Pretty much everything you see in this entire room either came from Big Lots, Ross, or Ikea. And I have not actually painted this coffee table yet. I, I was totally going to, but I just haven't got around to it. And same thing with the little fireplace. It's really dark I'd like to brighten it up but that's gonna be a project for another day and then back over here we kind of have some space that's pretty much where I like to stick all of my studio lights when I'm not using them so in this room I'm not gonna do too much to change it up just a few touches here and there okay so in here all I did was replace a few pillows with these fall themed pillows this one with the blue truck and that one came from Dollar General, that was a really good deal. And then this is actually just a pillowcase cover, really inexpensive, just from Amazon, and it's a great way to change up your pillows without spending a lot. Over on this side table, I just added this really cute faux flower arrangement. This is also from Dollar General. I also added a matching one over here. And then in this little tray on top of the coffee table, I just have my little white pumpkin candle, which I've never actually lit. I think it looks really pretty unlit, so I just leave it like that. Then I have this cute little fox. This is from Dollar General. And I have one more of my potted plants from Walmart. This is actually a real plant, so hopefully I won't kill it. And then over here on the TV wall, I've added just a few things. This harvest banner I got at Hobby Lobby last year. To brighten up the top of the cabinet, I've added this little burlap runner. That's from Hobby Lobby several years ago. Over on this side, I have just a little grouping of pumpkins. I also have this little truck, which does not have a battery in it. It's not really nine o'clock. In the back, I've just added some little flowers. This also is from Big Lots. Down across the front here, I have my little village. I found these at Target in the dollar spot. They're really cute. And I think that they would go well for other holidays as well, not just fall. And then over on this side, just another little grouping of pumpkins, lots of different sizes and different materials. And that brings us to the kitchen. I cannot tell you how much I am loving this new kitchen. If you've seen the old pictures, you'll know it's quite a transformation, but it took a, it took a long time, but it's finally done. Over here, I picked up this little glass table on a swap site. Actually, it was only $30, but it didn't come with the chairs. I actually got these chairs at Target. You can tell that they still have a tag on because I don't think I'm gonna keep them. I think I'm actually gonna take these ones back and get the white ones instead. If you can comment, let me know what you think. Should I stay with the silver chairs or should I swap them out and get the white chairs instead. So really this table is like the little breakfast table for the kids in the morning. It doesn't normally look so nice with all the table settings, but I thought I would go ahead and put it there anyway because I just love the way it looks. In the center, I've added this little centerpiece. I found this one at Big Lots as well. And all these pieces match with these really soft orange and cream colors. 
and I'm a huge fan of these battery operated candles. I just have them everywhere I can. Now over on this wall, I'm just gonna be changing out this little gather sign. I got this recently in Utah. So I'm just replacing it with this little Hello Fall sign. I found this at Dollar General. I think it was like $5. Now I almost forgot, I found this really cute little miniature version of the truck Tello, also from Dollar General. But I think it's supposed to go on like a doorknob. So let me go put it over. I think I'll go ahead and put it right here. This door doesn't get used super often, so I think that'll be good. And I just have to say, I'm so impressed by all the Dollar Generals here. Back in California, they were few and far between. But here in Florida, there's a ton of them. They have some really cute stuff. Then moving further into the kitchen, on the center island here, I just added some real fresh flowers. Mostly I get fake flowers, but once in a while, I love the real ones. Now, I have to be honest with you, I really am not a huge fan of a lot of countertop decor. As you can see, I just have a few things over here and a few things over there. I really like the space to be as minimal as possible, so I'm just adding a few things in here. Over in this section, I've just added a little candle. This one is the Blessed Scent from Bath & Body Works. I really like that one. Now, right at the sink area, I also added this really cute Harvest Blessing mat. And this is one of those really cushy mats, so it's nice and comfortable if you're standing there for a long time. And then over here at the stove top, I'm gonna be changing out my little utensil container. This one's just a Ray Dunn one. It says stir crazy on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch it out for this one. This is technically a cookie jar. Found it at Walmart. I just really love that there's blue pumpkins in there as well. I have a lot of blue accents around my house, so it really ties it all in together nicely. Then over here, I'm gonna switch out my regular salt and pepper shakers. These are really cute little owl ones. I'm gonna change those for the little pumpkin ones. I found these at Home Goods this year. No, no, Target. These are actually from Target, and it was only $5 for the set. Super cute. And then finally, instead of the regular dishcloth, I'm gonna replace that with this one. I found this one at Home Goods as well, and this would work well for fall and for Thanksgiving. I love that that blue pumpkin is on there. It kind of ties in with the utensil holder right there. Now on to the dining room. Here's how it looks normally, except normally there's a lot more crumbs on the floor. <laughs> My kids spill quite a bit of stuff. Since we've moved in, we went ahead and put in some curtains. We changed out this light, but we did end up keeping the table for now. This did come with the house. It was partially furnished. This table has definitely seen better days. Over on this wall, I added this little buffet. I found this used off a of swap site. It was a really good deal. I also added some things from our old house and then some new shelves with my Ray Dunn collection, which is not super huge. So here's the little top shelf up here and the lower shelf right there. And then over on this wall, I just have a little fake tree from Ikea and this little picture collage is from Sam's. For right now, I just have the artwork that came with the frames, which is actually not too bad, but eventually I'd really like to switch these out for pictures of my kids. I think that'd be really cute. But man, I can never get them all straight. At least one is always crooked. So here's what it looks like before. Let's add some fall decor. And here we have the after. So here on the table, I've added this plaid runner from Hobby Lobby. On top of that, I have this big pumpkin I found at Ross. And then on either side, I have these adorable little birds from Walmart. I tend to buy these things in groups of two or three just so that they're not all by themselves. They have a little friend. And then over on this side, I've added a lot of different things. Up on the top shelf, I have this really cute plaid stuffed pumpkin from Walmart. This really cute truck. This one is from oh, Target Dollar Spot. I got this really fun sign. It kind of looks like a mason jar. This one was from Dollar General. Just a little pumpkin. And ooh, this sign was from Target as well. Down on the lower shelf, I have one more of those little plaid pumpkins. Those are so fun. 
with the plaid and the corduroy on there. More pumpkins, those are just from the dollar spot. I found this adorable little sign at Dollar General. Then across the bottom here, I've added this little banner that is from the dollar spot of Target as well. And then one of my favorite pieces, the little fall mouse family. I found this at Ross and this is adorable. There's a little basket with apples with a mommy and a daddy and a little girl, so cute. Next to these guys, I've added just a little tiny pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and one of my favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. This is the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl and I just put it right in the little candle holder. It's so pretty like that. And then over on this side, another grouping of Dollar Spot pumpkins. And then lastly, in the living room, I've just added a few different pillows. Well, actually, these are pillow covers. I just covered the ones I already had. Definitely cheaper to do it that way. In the center of the coffee table, I've added a real live pumpkin with some fake pumpkins as well. And this cute dollar spot sign that says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. Back on this table and on that table, I've added these really pretty pumpkins. Now this looks like mercury glass, but it's actually plastic. It has a little light inside. I found this at Dollar General and it's so pretty. I think they also make this in gold as well. So that's everything in this room, pretty simple. Now I can show you the outside and exactly why I'm not decorating out there. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is going to be scary. Oh, it's bugs, you guys. It's bug season in Florida and it's crazy. Absolutely terrifying. There are so many bugs. I totally was going to decorate this really nice and with pumpkins and flowers, but look at all these bugs. If you guys know a good way to get rid of these bugs, let me know because this is like every day. It's like this every single day. Now, if you guys would like to see how I transform the house for Halloween and for Christmas, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I really enjoyed making videos like this and I hope you guys like them too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.